and then we actually see the number of how many songs we like from 2000 up to 2000 back. Oh, the I'm number's inter- going to be so well, much bigger. Well, because I'm interested the, to see, because unlike you, I love me. a lot of stuff from 2000 up. But I also love a lot of stuff from 2000 back. Yeah. Well, see, my, my problem my problem is that, you know, like pop music, right? The whole um, corporate controlled, mu- you know, corporate controlled mu- music yeah. it really started in the late 90s. With Britney Spears and. Well, with and all shit. that shit, you know what I mean? It, well, I guess technically, if you think about it, you know, it really started in, it kind of started kind of, you know, coming up the service in the 80s. But it wasn't until the late, you know, the mid to late 90s when that shit became just super. See that? You know. That eighties pop, that's what I like. The synthesizer and the Well some of that, like I said, some of that stuff is fine. I'm I'm good with it. You know, I like Michael Jackson and the musician, not the man. Beat it. Being you know, talking about children's dicks. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. It is what it is, man. Yeah. Actually he was talking about don't fight in gangs. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah. That's you sure. That's that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> then what's bad about? Mm-hmm. When you're bad you get to beat it. <laughs> anyway. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. Yeah. As long as it thrills you. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then you can become one smooth criminal. I'll just keep going with Michael Jackson. No, you don't have to. You no. Don't have to. You don't have to. But Billy Jean told me I could. I'm going to have to peg or slap him. <laughs> Be careful. Somebody's watching you. Oh, God. Even, even though he only helped with that. Yeah. I'm anyway. S- I'm sorry. Did you? Are you impressed with my Michael Jackson? <laughs> You're going to make me scream. Ah, ah, look at that. All right. Took it from you. All right. We're yeah. done now. We're done. You and me, <laughs> we're, we're fucking done. done. <laughs> I don't Where know is it? Come on. Up here. I don't have it up here anymore. Dude, that's like, that was what started everything. Seriously, man, you and me, we're fucking done professionally. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, oh, say, what you wanna, say what you want to say because no, I, what did, I, was I did that, find something interesting I want to say after. Yeah, okay, what I was saying is that, you know, music-wise, I started to think about more of what came out in the late 90s, early 2000s and on. You know, there's a lot of that. Uh, uh, Meshuga is probably a bad example because they started in the late 90s, but they still put out a lot of shit in the 2000s. I mean, a lot of shit. Yeah. Uh, in Flames, Opeth, stuff like that. There's a lot. Metallica, kind of. Who? It was a dark period. Sane Anger. Who, who's that? Yeah, who's that? Uh, but, yeah, so there is, there is some, it's just not the – because when I started th- – when I think of the 2000s, the problem I had was when I, I worked in the 2000s, I worked in bars that played the pop bullshit, you know, the pop rock and the pop punk and the pop yeah, metal yeah. and the pop pop oh, and I the mean, pop rap and all that everything pop. Everything that was popular, yeah. God yeah. damn it. It was okay, such a fucking it. beating. Well, here's the problem. I actually like some of those things. Like, I like Blink-182. I like uh, Bowling for Soup. Not all of it. I uh, like a few songs. But enough to say – not to like damn their name when I hear them. Oh, I damn their name when I. Hear oh, I know them. you do. Yeah. I know you do. But I'm not yeah. like you. I listen to like I everything. I even like a few fucking newfound glory songs, and they're stupid. Oh, God. I like to like one, two songs, two songs, two songs, two songs. Do they have more than three? Well, I mean, if you have an album, you have more than three, don't you? Are you talking about hits? Because if you're talking about hits, then you'd be correct. They had more than three hits. I don't know. I don't fuck, so. fuck if I know. Fuck if I, know. I just sure. like two songs, man. I don't. I don't. I'm not Wikipedia on newfound glory <laughs> over here. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so um, as I was looking up stuff, I found this this thing here, this um, list of why the 2000s were the worst decade for music ever. And this is all music across okay. all genres of music. The number one reason is auto-tune. Oh, the introduction yes. of auto-tune. Absolutely. Right. So you're in agreement with that. Yes. I, I just want to see if you're in agreement. Absolutely. Not. All right, number two. Look, yeah. hang on a second. Okay. Gotta, you want to talk about auto-tune? I'm going to riff on auto-tune for okay, a second. Go ahead. I don't have a problem with fixing a bad note every now and again. But trying to make a singer who's not a singer a singer? Yes. Yeah. And that happened a lot. It still does. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's how like everybody horrible. and their mother is a pop star or a rapper yeah, every time I mean, you look around. So there, there, are a few, there are a few people out there that can sing their asses off. Sure. Like Katy Perry can sing her sure. ass off. She's got a great voice. Miley Cyrus cannot. Cannot. You know who else cannot? Uh, because, I, because I heard him live. Who's that? Jared Leto. Oh, he can't. Oh, that guy sucks. He's awful. He is horrible. Now, some like once again, like 30 Seconds to Mars. I, I rag on them a lot, but there's like two songs I like by them. If Even in, though I know his voice is auto-tuned yeah, yeah. and he doesn't really sound like that. Right. It doesn't matter. I still like the song. So. And, you know, part of the problem is there are a lot of guys out there that can sing. There are a lot of singers out there that can sing. And but whatever, then but the people fucking like Jared Leto takes. Well, it's, yeah. not, it's not. No, no, no. It's not even that. It's like the corporate box theory says, you know, when we're producing an album, we have to make sure everything is perfectly in tune. Oh, we yeah. can't have any kind of fucking can't mistakes. Have any rawness. And, yeah. yeah. Fucking hate that. Yeah. Thrash metal. The death of thrash metal is a uh, corporate corporate. Music. Yeah. 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 So number two on here was uh, was something I didn't even really think of. Well, the first part makes sense. The second part I didn't think of. Yeah. First part is American Idol. 
oh, think, f- thinking yes. that everybody can sing and yes. blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that was step one. Step two was Guitar Hero, and I didn't even think about that. And oh. the, they go on to say that, uh, that a lot of rock bands in general started to change their music just because of the popularity of Guitar Hero, they, hoping to get on the Guitar right, Hero. Right. So they wanted to make their music more family-friendly and easier to play. Right. So, I'm like, so I didn't even think about didn't that. Didn't these and motherfuckers realize they had Dragon Force on there? <laughs> that shit is not easy to play. No. but every, every, Well, every Guitar Hero had their like hardest song. Yeah. Do you remember what the first Guitar Heroes was? No. Cowboys from Hell. That was the hard one. Really? Well, yeah, that's what it started out as. Then we get to Dragon Force by thir- the third one. The second one was... Um, See, I never did Guitar Hero. Oh, God I damn played it. real guitar. What was it? I know, I know. Yeah. And, it, and it's funny about that, playing real guitar and then playing Guitar Hero. It's hard as shit. Yeah. It is not the same at all. That I've if you can play guitar, does not automatically make no. you good at guitar hero. No, and if you're great at guitar hero, does not make you right. able to play the guitar. Well, it's button pressing. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's 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 what's that hand eye coordination? Hand, yeah, and and, uh, and remembering um, patterns. And yeah, like right. That. Yeah, no, no. Um, and then the uh, the the final one, or, or not the final one. Sorry, uh, the other one is network decay. So yeah, that used like to be MTV the, VH1. That going, used to be the big deal. That music. used to be yeah, right. So when you sign with a record, is there another one? Is there? Oh, more? There's, yeah, there's more. Okay, then let's let's hear the rest of the list. I'm gonna come back to that one. Okay, uh, music genres we're sick of, and they're what they mean is like grunge. Like yeah, these well. people think grunge is the cockroach of rock. That's what they say. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't really agree because I like Alice in Chains and I like Pearl Jam sometimes. I mean, I agree. I don't like Nirvana very I don't much. I don't see. I don't see why that's a bad thing though. Well, here's why: because they they're saying that uh, I'm not going to read every detail, but sure. it's basically saying that it uh, it spawned things like um, it like moved from from because like grunge right now isn't a, isn't a thing anymore. No, it's it's evolved into it evolved into emo, then oh, into yeah. new metal, and now into this thing called sludge, which I've never even fucking heard of. I've heard of sludge. Yeah. Have you heard of sludge? Okay. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Uh, I never, I, to me, I still will never really use the word emo. I think that's a stupid made up word that I'll never fucking say. That and screamo, those aren't real. I don't believe in those things. No. New metal, sure. That's what you want to call it, fine. But that whole rap metal bullshit I couldn't get into. See, and that's the thing, because I always thought new metal was. Have you ever heard of a band called Story of the Year or Finch? Uh, I don't think so. Kind of like My Bloody Valentine. Or Bullets for My Valentine. My Bloody Valentine. That's My most, where you, where they sing but they scream and it still sounds punky but it's uh, like hard punk, punk and so I would call that. Well, that was what was new metal. Really? And the, yeah, See, new metal to me was corn. That was new metal. That was like the birth of new metal was corn. Oh no 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 no. There's no there's no because, argument there because well, if you go back into you go back into the mid nineties. What, what do you class? What do you what what is your definition of new metal? I mean, again, it started with corn. What is the definition of the music sound like? I don't because right, everything so I've ever heard is not corn. <clears throat> okay, so here's the, here's the deal with uh, the definition of new metal, um, and I mean we were both in I was in high school when this started happening yeah. late night. I was in junior high when corn and Limp Bizkit started yeah. hitting. Yeah, I was in high school when they when they started to become yeah. popular and famous. Yeah. Uh, Limp Bizkit is a perfect example because I've always called Limp Bizkit rap a, rock. Well, it was a mix of, of rap and metal. Uh, it's not that it's never been done before. You know, Faith No More did it way back so in the Aerosmith. The Aerosmith did it. You know. Uh, but, yeah, but they did it like on a song, right? Exactly, not, not, not as whole a image. whole image yeah. type of thing. But um, so, if you take a look at the the whole new metal thing, was kind of defined. Uh, you know, the seven string, the popularity of the seven string guitar. Uh, uh, yeah, orgy. They had a orgy. I remember they have one. Yeah, uh, orgy didn't corn. Slip, didn't Slipknot have a seven string? No, no, no. no. Who was the only? Because I remember I had a hit parader that featured all the seven string guitar players, and I could have uh, sworn one of the Slipknot guys had a, a seven string so. Ibanez. It may have been the what's his name. I know it was. I know it was Limp Bizkit. I know it was. Um, Obviously, it was Corn. It was Corn. I yeah. know it was uh, Orgy. I know what. I know what. I had. Uh, I had that same hit parader, and they were talking about the birth of new metal. Not all those guys had seven strings though, hmm. yeah, but it did have. You know, it had, yes, it had Orgy. It had Limp Bizkit. It had Corn. It had uh, Slipknot. It had. Uh, Static X. It had see, the the whole new metal thing was kind of like a merger of a bunch of different genres into this new type of metal. That's why they called it new, new metal. metal. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, you had corn that were that mixed in all these weird fucking genre sounds and yeah. detuned guitars. Yep. That's another thing. You know, the whole going down to to well, corn I guess was what A, what? and then everybody else was drop B yeah, and drop C B, yes, and okay. so on yeah. and so forth. So a lot of people uh, a lot were, more. Duh. Sound. Right, mm-hmm. you know, they were kind of you know using that, getting away from what I would call technically difficult metal sounds, like Metallica, sounds. like Metallica or Anthrax or Megadeth, so on and so forth. So what you're saying is they, it's basically they took thrash metal and simplified it. 
Well, they took the they took the metal sound. They took you know they took the oh, sound of the, I mean. of, yeah. of the of the late eighties, early nineties. Simplified it. They simplified that, and they brought in other weird sounds. Weird sounds, or they brought like, in like uh, you know like the with Static X was uh, like the the industrial sound. Well, they brought I, that in. Because I was going to say, if, if anyone ever asked me, who do you think is the most simplified rock band of all time? And I was, it's Static X. Oh, because sure. almost every song they have is nothing but an open note. I mean, right. they throw it, in other simple things, stuff. Yeah, sure. It's all simple shit. Sure. But it was fun. Oh, absolutely. It was fun. I love that shit. I love Cold. Cold's oh, great. Yeah. It's like three notes, the whole song. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah. The, yeah. It's, so, yeah. It's, it's per- it, Again, Static X is a perfect example of new metal. Yeah. Uh, I think well, I the reason why new metal has gone away, the whole the term, the genre of new metal, is because we've kind of evolved away from that. Not saying that. We kind of just now accept it. I think. Sometimes. Sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. Okay. Um, but it, cause if you look at bands like Mastodon, who came out in the early 2000s, but nobody really get, paid them a whole lot of attention, they're part of that new wave of American heavy metal. So You had Mastodon, Lamb of God. What genre would you put bands like Mudvayne or Fear Factory in oh, that, that have a lot of screaming but also a lot of singing? Mudvayne is most definitely a new metal band. But they're very, very um, technical. All of their shit is they just have they crazy. they have some weird time signatures and they all have of this shit. some weird time signatures, um, but they again they bring in that industrial sound. They brought in the industrial, especially with LD so fifty. Did, so did Tool. So right, and again, I would put Tool in the new metal. I would put Tool, tool in started the in the 80, 80, 80, what, 88, 89? Yeah, I I mean yeah, I guess it just started they're, in the late eighties. I would just say they're industrial. Still, I was just well, saying yeah, they're kind of industrial. Them and metal, so, them yeah. and Nin the Nin uh, yeah, <laughs> the Nin as the, we call them the Resner. Yeah, the reses. The res. The resies. The res. Um, okay, well, past that, let me just keep going with this real quick. Get out of here. Another one was hipsters. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Yeah. That was another reason. Yes. Uh, and then another reason is because the old guys are still popular. Because. Uh, what? Well, okay, like like how they said, like, grunge died out and became something else. And then, right. they, then emo died out and became something else. But things like Ozzy, Iron Maiden, ACDC, Metallica, stuff like that, they're still oh, sure. touring, still popular. People still like that music. They, it, they haven't been replaced. Well, yeah, I, it's, but here's the thing: I don't think they Ozzie, haven't made room for the new. The, again, we're we're getting to we're getting to this whole deal. If yeah, if you look at who's the the last giant rock or metal band, Metallica. Metallica. Who has the? I mean, there's been one band that has come that has gotten close, and that was Pantera. Anybody else? Name another band that has gotten to that level. Well, I mean, Iron you Maiden, ACDC, all them. Yeah, but they came out before. Iron Maiden, ACDC are out before Metallica. That's my point. The last since the eighties, since the, since the eighties. Well, I mean, well, yeah, since the nineties. Well, to really. some people, you could argue Guns N' Roses. I hate them, but I guess some people would argue for them. Right, sure, but again, we're still talking about the same time, same time frame. It is. Guns they, N' they Roses came out, came out in the eighties. That's, that's yeah. what I mean. I mean, oh, so you're talking. About I'm talking after about that. after that. After there is there is See, no. like Pantera because we had this conversation. I was yeah, saying, right. Metallica was the metal king of, of the eighties. Pantera was the metal king of the nineties. Who's the metal king of the two thousands? There isn't one. If you well, I mean, okay. If you polled, if you polled people, I would say that most rock listeners of a younger age would say the two thousands was probably Avenged Sevenfold, and then they would probably, as much as you hate it, they would probably say Five Finger Death Punch right now. Yeah, but because uh, that's here's the only the, here's the thing. That's the only real mainstream metal band out there, right? But here's here's where here's where that argument doesn't hold water with either one of those two. Because I have a sieve. No, well, yeah, I have. Oh, yeah, a, what I, I have a tap. No, uh, when's the last time Avenged Sevenfold went out by themselves and sold out? I, I, I got what you're saying. You know what I mean? When was the last time that Five Finger or Moose Knuckle Glit Tickle there you go. sold out more than what we're sitting in? I mean, come on now these these guys these guys are not look. People say, well, Metallica played with Ben Sevenfold. What does that say? Uh, uh, you know what's funny? John told me, um, I was talking to him probably like a week after the concert, and uh, he told me that he, he bumped into a guy um, while he was in Austin. Yeah. He bumped into a guy who just went to their show in Houston, I think. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the guy was about his same age, late, late 40s, and he brought his uh, 19-year-old son uh-huh. with him. And his 19-year-old son, his favorite band is Avenged Sevenfold. And he went just for Avenged Sevenfold. Of course, his dad knew Metallica. Right. So he went, you know, brought him. It was like a whatever. And he said the point was uh, the son went for Avenged Sevenfold and ended up leaving with Metallica. With Metallica. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but. I wonder. That, that puts that, that makes me think. I wonder to this day. They're in their what? Their 50s. And they're. they're getting up there. Right. Almost in yeah. their 60s. That's ridiculous. Uh, they look good. Um, except for Kirk's uh, gray mane. His gray mane. Um, yeah. But. 
that that amazes me, and I, I would really want to know the numbers of how many kids that are like 15 to 